hello and welcome to my youtube channel Chemvis. in this video we are going to discuss optical activity of cis 1 to dimethyl cyclohexane there are some misconceptions regarding its optical activity published on google watch this video till the end to remove those misconceptions let's start the discussion the planar structure of cis 1 to dimethyl cyclohexane can be drawn like this we can see that it has two chiral centers the misconceptions arises from the planar structure if you see the planar structure looks like there is a plane of symmetry and the molecule is meso and thus optically inactive this is the wrong explanation regarding its optical inactivity published on google in reality there is no plane of symmetry as it exists in chair conformation one of the chair conformations can be drawn like this it has one axial and one equatorial methyl group level it as confirmation a here we can see that there is no plane of symmetry and the molecule is chiral now we know that it is chiral even then the question is whether it is optically active or optically inactive to find the answer perform the ring flipping to get another chair confirmation that has the same energy as that of confirmation a since it has one ex it since it also has one axial and one equatorial methyl group label it as confirmation b it is difficult to compare between a and b as drawn to make the comparison easier rotate b around this axis counterclockwise through 120 degrees to get a different view of confirmation b now let's do head to head comparison we can see that a and b are the non superimposable mirror images of each other and thus enantiomers since two enantiomers have the same energy and they are interconvertible by just flipping uh, just by ring flipping so cis 1 to dimethyl cyclohexane always exists as one is to one mixture of two enantiomers and therefore it is optically inactive that's all in this video Please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon if you like this video. Thank you very much for watching this video.